Good day everyone. My name is Mr. Mo Godwin and today we're here again to learn about maths. Um, it promises to be interesting and fun all the way. Today we'll be considering algebra. We're going into another part of algebra which has to do with word problem. Um, you're going to be given words and you should be able to bring them out and tell us what they represent in maths. That's what problem. So if we're ready, let's get into it already. Now, the objective of our lesson today is that at the end of the lesson, you should be able to interpret the question. Yes, it's very, very important. You understand what we are talking about. You should be able to know what um, each sentence and each word, what they represent and how to put them mathematically. So these are the objective for our lesson today. So let's get into it already, boys and girls. Should we? All right, let's go. So. Um, making algebraic expression from English sentences, that's typically what we're going to be doing today. Um, it means we are trying to make mathematical statements from English sentences. All right. So it is very, very possible for us to make algebraic expression from English language. That means um, they will not give you the exact math. X, they, nobody's going to give you x plus 3 equals to 5. No, you're not going to see this. But rather, it will be given in words sentences okay so your duty is to coin out the mathematical expression from each of the sentences that you're given all right so don't get worked up we are going to get through it now let's start when letters are used instead of usual figure a little problem begins to arise so to avoid such problem we need to change the letters to figure that's what we we'll do so when you get this already wrapped up, we are halfway to where we are going to. We're going to consider some examples here and see how they fit in. Now, this is for example one. I'm going to start it here. We are told that we should share X oranges among five boys. How many will each boy get? Oh, it's a problem. Because they just told me here, this is X. And that's a letter. It's representing something. We don't know boys and girls. We really do not know what it is. But now they are telling us that we should share X oranges among five boys. Then if you're going to do that, how many will each boy get? The first thing we are going to do, just like we are seeing here, let us represent letter X with the figure 20. Let's say, for example, X is equal to 20. Just I'm saying X is not really 20. I am going to assume in my mind that I want x to be 20 so I can solve. All right. So if they say, if I have said x is 20, and they choose to share x oranges among five boys, then what it means is that I'm to share 20 oranges among five boys. That also means what? 20 over 5. You see why I told you to make s as 20? Now, if we have done that, what next? Now, in the place of 20, where we substitute the value of x for 20. Remember, we said x now is 20. And we are supposed to share 20 oranges over 5 boys. Good. But really, we know that x is not 20. Now that I have this idea that, oh, x is 20, I don't really know what it is. It then means I'm going to replace the number here for x. Mm -hmm. And if I do that, since my x is not really 20, they didn't tell me. I will now say, oh, it means x all over 5. So the number of oranges all over 5. This is the number of orange each boy we get. x over 5. That's the beginning of what word problem, you see? This is your answer. We have just said it that if x oranges is shared among 5 people, how much we each person gets is x over 5. We move to the next example. A gold costs X Naira, and a sheep costs Y Naira. What is the total cost of the two animals? Now, there are words that you should watch out for when you are dealing with word problem. Now, when you see the total cost, it's telling you what add. Okay? You see something like that, you see sum up, it's telling you to add. Okay? Now they brought this in. What's the total cost? They're asking us to add. Then let's see how we do it. Number one, we're going to itemize. They told us that goats cost what? X naira. Is that not so? Mm -hmm. Then we have sheep. 
it's also cost what y naira all right then i ask what's the total cost of the two animals it's quite simple so total cost which is total equals because i've said this and this represent my go to my y so it's going to be x plus y and whatever it gives me in naira can you see i've interpreted it this is what you are expected to do when you itemize it becomes clearer for you another example to sort it out for us before we wrap it i am thinking of a number i multiply it by five the result is 85 what is the number boys and girls you can even play around with these things just oh i'm thinking of a number you can have a pair you can just play around instead of you not doing anything math is fun remember so i'm thinking of a number i multiply it by five the result is 85 what is the number let's see now let the number be y i'm thinking of y okay and when i multiply y by five the result will give me what 85 so y equals the number or we can say number equals y okay now um the next step says y times five this will give me five y now this so when i multiply the results so there's going to be results so equals five y the result is what 85 hmm I'm looking for the number so number can be here yep number equals five y so what do we do when we get to do you remember this point in your algebra yes when you get to five y equals 85 what do you do you divide both side by five good five all right cancel out cancel out five here will go one five here is also one remember three five and 35 that's seven so the answer is equals to what 17 so the number is y is equal to 17 so 17 times 5 should give us 85 brilliant <laughs> thank you so much for your time it's been a wonderful time with on the screen and using this platform to get to you i hope you've learned one or two things you should wait for our class activity as a follow -up. so for now i would like to say bye-bye my name remains mr omar godwin thank you